In this video, advanced personal finance tips and money management during this global recession in 2020. If you watch till the end, you'll learn all the tricks to weather this storm like a pro. Let's get cracking. My name is Marco and this video is part of a YouTube course on financial minimalism which includes advanced money management tips, money 101, personal finance basics and budgeting. At the end of this video I will give you the link to this free YouTube course. Tip number one, don't buy today, buy tomorrow. It's been, it's been found that shopping releases dopamine that brings about the sensation of well-being and happiness. But wait for it, it seems that the majority of the dopamine hit comes from the anticipation of the purchase itself. Bearing this in mind, the strategy that I used is to simply just to not buy that and then, but to wait and actually sleep on it and make a decision the day after. Then, if I still want it, it means that I need it, so I just get it. You can save a lot of money by waiting 24 hours. Tip number two, reward yourself. As I just mentioned, shopping releases dopamine. So instead of wasting money, do something else that releases dopamine and you find pleasurable. By this I mean binge watch a new series online. For example, this reward process will release dopamine and make you feel happy. And do you know what else is gonna make you happy? Smashing the like button is gonna help this video go up the ranking and possibly reach someone who really needs help. Tip number three, would you rather have the cash? If you had the choice between buying an item or being paid that exact amount of money, which one would you choose? If you decide to not buy something and instead you save that amount, it's almost like if you just been paid to save. Now I know this is a bit of a flaw way of thinking because I can just totally say to myself, oh, you know, I was thinking of buying a one million pound Lamborghini, but I didn't do that. That means that I saved one million pound. Yeah. That would be, by the way, an amazing clickbait. Can you just imagine it? How I saved one million pound by not buying a Lamborghini. I can just see one million views. But anyway, this strategy works best with big purchases as the savings, between air quotes, are higher. By the way, just a quick disclaimer. This is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. Tip number four, how many hours does it cost? So if you're making 20 pounds an hour and you decide to drop 60 pounds on a dinner, in a way that dinner is costing you three hours of your time. This is pretty much the entire premise of the book Your Money or Your Life, which if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it, link in the description below. But if you're not going to read it and you're going to ignore me on that, this is going to summarize the entire book in like a minute. We all have a limited amount of time on this planet and it's up to us to make the best use of such time. So it's really vital that we spend our money on things that are really vital to us. And since time is such a limited and precious thing, we shouldn't waste it by working for things that we don't actually need. So there you go, I just saved you loads of time and the 10 pounds for the book. So how about subscribing to this channel as a payment? It really helps with the almighty YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Ooh, and don't forget to click the little bell so that you can get all the notifications. But anyway, I think the same way when I'm working out at the gym. I think to myself, I, would I rather eat a sneaker bar and spend 40 minutes on the treadmill trying to burn it off? Or I'd rather not eat the sneaker bar? And of course the answer is obvious. I would rather eat sneakers bars because they're so delicious. No, I'm joking. In reality, I don't eat the sneakers bar because it's much easier to cut things out that to burn them off. And the same thing applies to spending. It's much easier to not buy something and save that money instead of make more money to make up for it. 
And when you start to think this way, you'll just become more mindful of where your money is going and how much time takes you to pay for your expenses. Tip number five, future value. Think of what your money is going to be worth if instead of spending it, you'd save it and invest it. Because if you invest, your money is going to grow over time. And if you're spending, it's like if you're holding such growth. So if instead of buying that round of drinks for your mate, you just take those 20 pounds and invested it, the growth for the next 40 years adjusted for inflation and with the average return and with dividend reinvested, those 20 pounds would be worth 340 pounds of future money. So I just think to myself, is that round of drinks worth that amount of future money? So, and if it's not, then I don't spend it. Now, I'm a bit of a nutter and I think of everything in these terms. So like a five pound cup of, of Starbucks coffee, is it worth the 75 pounds that it will be worth in 40 years? Well, definitely not. So I prefer to make the coffee myself and spend 10p. So think about all the purchases in the same way. And if you're, what you are looking to buy is worth now, the value that, your, that money would be worth in the future had you saved it and invested it in the stock market. And if the answer is no, then don't buy. But if you decide to buy, then it's fine anyway. There is a fine line between uh, living life, enjoying the moment and saving for the future. And that is going to be different for all of us. So just stay true to yourself and just be mindful of what you would be uh, giving up in the future if you buy something now. It's very important to find a happy medium to make sure you don't feel like you're missing out on the present moment but at the same time, you're prepared for the future. Tip number six, cut back on food expenses. Now, this is a bit of practical advice for your day-to-day -day purchases. And to save on food, you don't have to necessarily stop eating. What you could do instead is to buy loads of food and do some old-fashioned batch cooking, followed up by freezing. So your next time you need food, you'll just have to walk to the microwave and start defrosting. That will not only save you money, but also time. And because time is money, you are saving double money. There is one last step that I forgot to mention. You then need to smash the like button because I've just saved you double money. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And again, I've just saved you loads of money. Come on, guys. On a serious note, I do my batch cookie on a Saturday, then leave the food to cool down and do the portion for freezing on a Sunday. The bottom line, these tips are very powerful and can make you save you thousands as they did for me and really show how much of an impact can psychology and clever planning make on your expenses. Which tip did you like better between reward yourself and future value? Or maybe you have your own way of saving money. Let me know in the comments below. I will answer all of them. Subscribe to the channel as it really helps a lot. I will talk you through the best hints and tricks to achieve financial freedom and improve your financial situation. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and if you haven't done it yet, check out the above YouTube course. It will allow you to save loads of money and squeeze every penny. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.